Hey yo, Fincast Lady Six and the Big Cheese with three minutes of genealogy wisdom. Why do genealogy? First of all, it's fun and inspirational. Research is boring. Well, no, it's not. Most of the time, you do research because it's been assigned by a teacher, it's been assigned the topic is not something that is personal, that is relevant to you, or it's been assigned at work by a boss, and frankly, you don't care as much about it. But when you go off and you do research for your own family history, you're doing something for yourself, self-actualizing you might call it, and you're being a detective. You're finding out facts that other people don't know. When you research for a paper in school, you're doing something that anybody else could do and probably has been done over and over again. But when you're doing genealogy, you're treading on virgin soil. You're creating knowledge. You're doing something new that not only you can enjoy, but your descendants and your relatives can enjoy too. Make it discoverable. Publish something that can be pride. That can be pride in yourself and your own, own accomplishments. And it can be pride in your family's history. Maybe you have a great-grandmother who is a suffragette. You can, be, you can take pride in her accomplishments. Maybe you have a great-great-grandfather who is in, you know, World War I. You can learn about World War I and have some pride in your own personal heritage and where you came from, geographically speaking. Second of all, it's a conversation piece. And I want to say this at two levels. First of all, with your family. Think about going to Thanksgiving or a bar mitzvah or a marriage where you see all these relatives that you haven't seen in a month, in a year, in five years, ten years. You don't have anything in common with these people. Well, yeah, you do have something in common with these people. Your family. You're part of the same family. And so your family's history is a very obvious conversation piece. And if you know a lot of facts, maybe they know some facts and you can have an interesting conversation and everybody has a better time. You can learn some stuff, they can learn some stuff, and you can teach your family about your heritage. And other people can be proud of it and other people can pick up on genealogy too. The other part of the conversation piece angle is it's an interesting conversation piece with your friends, people who aren't related to you. You can get a family tree, put it up on the wall, you can preserve photographs of your ancestors, put them up on the wall, and you can talk to them. You can talk to folks at the bar, you can talk to your friends in school, you can talk to your friends wherever it may be about your family's history. Don't take it too far, don't talk their ear off, but it's a cool conversation piece for anybody. Finally, you can learn history. You have an ancestor in a war. You have an ancestor who was involved in, you know, aviation back in the day. You have an ancestor who was in Alaska or who was in the FBI, you know, back in the early days. You have an ancestor who did, I mean, any number of interesting things. Maybe you have a famous ancestor, somebody who signed the Declaration of Independence. You can learn about history. Also, you can learn research methods. And this is something that can serve you in good stead at your place of employment. It can help get you jobs because you can cite that as background, as experience. Even if it wasn't paid work experience, you can put that on your resume and say, yeah, I know how to do research, whether it's online or at the National Archives or at the Library of Congress. If you have experience doing research, there's a lot of employers who look for that kind of stuff. All kinds of reasons to do genealogy. But the best one is pride in your family's heritage. Good luck. My coffee is losing its chill, so cheers.